Good afternoon, good evening, it's your man Earl, episode 236 on the docket, August 24th, it's Thursday morning, getting ready to get up and get after it. Listen, we have been talking about uh, word association or word groups or partners or pairs in words, and, and you're saying, Earl, why are we talking about that? It's because oftentimes when we think of one word, another word immediately comes into our mind and that's why we sometimes become paralyzed well Earl yesterday we talked about risk and reward you know we always want the good we don't but we don't want to assess or evaluate the risk involved and so oftentimes when we want to do something or invest in something whether it even be invested in ourselves we get thrown off course because we want the profit or we want the return or the reward but we don't properly assess the risk. So today we're talking about plans and processes. Would you say, Earl, say it again. I repeat myself if you're a follower and fan of the page. Plan, process. The reason why most people do not write down a plan is because in the back of their mind, then they have to admit that there is a process. So, They would rather live their life willy-nilly, day-to-day, and say things like this, well, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Well, it must not meant to be, so it didn't happen. Those are all what we call, uh, well, I don't want to use that word, so scratch that thought. Those type of individuals do not want to accept the process with the plan. And so, therefore, they do not write a plan so they don't have to recognize the process. If you want better, develop a plan for better and then carefully and effectively and efficiently go through the process that the plan calls for. Earl, make it make sense. Here we go. You want to buy a house? What's the plan for you buying a house? Are you saving $5 per pay period? Are you saving $100 a month? Are you getting your credit together? Are you starting to look at homes? Have you taken a first-time home buyers class that gives out $2,500, $4,000, $7,500, if you will? There is a process attached to your plan. I'm going to say it again. There is a process that attaches to your plan. And the reason why you don't have a plan is because you do not want to recognize the process. You do not want to recognize the process. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to recognize the process. So you don't have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, then you're not going to hold yourself accountable. If you're not going to hold yourself accountable, then you have what's called willy-nilly behavior, free-for-all behavior. It is what it is. And you start hearing people say these things. Well, must not be, must that be for me. And my response is, what's your plan? All right. I don't want to keep it long today. I just want to give you an idea on these are words that we have in our mind. And when we're thinking about one thing, or even when we're saying one thing, another word always pops into mind. Word associations, plan, process. There is a plan and then there is a process attached to that plan. So do not be intimidated when you start to write down the plan and then processes start. Oh, if I do this, then what? There's the process kicking in. So do not get thrown off course because of the process in the back of your mind, in the bottom of your heart, in the front of your memory bank, if you will. It's okay. Remember, people who write down things are three times, five times, ten times more successful than people who don't write them down. This is why I tell you to journal, get a journal, get a write down and get a journal. Why? Because then once you start writing things down, then you can see the process and how it works. And if you have a 
time or a tough time or a tough moment, then you can look at your plan. You won't get stuck on the process. All right. Last tip. Learn to appreciate the process. I'm going to say it again. Learn to appreciate the pl- the process that the plan calls for. It's your man Earl, episode 236, Thursday morning, getting ready to get up here and go work out. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.